Good morning everyone. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, today we are going to build a lexical analyzer which will identify a uh, syntax of C language. That means which will identify all the tokens a C code has. So to do so, so we have created a directory inside this directory or folder. We're going to write a lex program and I hope you to know that you have a good understanding about uh, Lex program and how to write Lex program, the structure of the Lex program. And okay, let's begin. So before we begin, we have to make sure that our we have to go to the view and make sure that uh, file name extension is on. Otherwise, it's gonna ha you might face some problems. So let's create a Lex file. It's a txt file and name this like Lex and uh, make sure that extension is type L so it's gonna show a pop-up warning so just click on yes and now this is the Lex file so I'm gonna run through a bit about Lex program um, there are three parts in Lex program that are This is the three parts a Lex program has. This is the part where we uh, declare global variables. This is the part where we write uh, regular expression in case uh, regular expression you might be familiar with the regular expression. Uh, and then the main uh, function, which is a driver function, we, we're gonna use to create our lexical analyzer. So, uh, like uh, regular expression for a positive integer would be any number uh, between 0 to 9 and put a st star or a plus that means a digit or number which is start with any number between 0 to 9 and goes on and on but at least has to be there has to be a number it cannot be 0 uh, this plus sign actually means one or more number digits or letters so I'm not gonna write all the regular expression which is gonna cost us a lot of time so I have already done it so I'm gonna just paste it here so okay let me copy I'm just gonna paste it here so uh, no don't worry I'm gonna explain it to you this is the section where we uh, declare global variables or define preprocessors as we need, like uh, include include stdo dot h, stdli dot lib dot h, and string dot h, mat dot h, whatever you want. So in the next this this line, uh, as you know, you could use a no yyref function instead of this line. So that doesn't matter. That really connects all three parts of uh, Lex program. So in the next, this is the regular expression. There is quite a few regular expression, like uh, this will identify a preprocessor, so which is start with hash. And uh, the, uh, th this is a kind of a delimiter, and this is uh, for identifying special characters, and this is for identifying assignment operators. Uh, this is these are arithmetic operators, as regular expression, and these are relational operators, and this uh, huge line is for keywords, and this expression will identify a function this will identify a identifier that means uh, we can call it a variable uh, whatever this is identify a fractional number or a double number this will identify a negative fractional number a positive integer negative integer and this will identify any string and this expression will uh, regular expression will identify any single line comments and this will identify any multi line comments so I'm gonna run this program and show you how it works. Um, to do that, we will have to put a C file or any text file as input. So let's feed the driver function. All you did, and this actually to skip any tab or new lines. So here we just created uh, two pointers of type file, and we have to put extern in case we're doing a it uh, in C. We don't have to use this extern, but when you're using a file in legs, 
program you get must use it other than not gonna use the file so this yyin input file pointer we're open uh, we're opening this uh, input.txt file so in this folder we need uh, In this flex uh, folder, we need a file called input.txt. You can see the name. So we have put a file there. And this wire out, we have uh, put a name is output.txt. So as you already know that you don't have to create output file. It's going to create automatically a output file for us. So this is uh, R means we're reading from this input.txt file. And W means we're going to write into this file. So in the last line, we just a print to print in, into the file, the same as the print. Um, this is the pointer. This is the string, whatever you want to write. And this is the variable, which value we want to write into the file. So at each line, we have incremented total the, uh, global variables to kind of identify all the token to count all the token identified uh, our lexical analyzer and next we have just printed this uh, token into the file into the file and the file pointer is yy out and each time we've done the same thing so why don't we just run the program mm, hope that will be much clearer for you so let's open the common prompt let's change the directory desktop uh, one thing if you're using uh, Linux is also the same. You can use the terminal to run uh, the program. So okay, let's desktop and go to. F so I have created f uh, this folder inside my desktop. So if you just type dir, it's gonna show this directory is flex. So you're gonna go to inside this flex. So you can create the file in any directory as you want. So it doesn't matter that much it's the procedure what you have to follow and the next uh, we, can, we can see what is inside this directory um, so we're gonna our legs file is legs.l so just um, just clear just write flex to run the flex program just have to write flex and then the file name legs.l in this case for us sorry uh, we haven't uh, just saved the file okay that's it now we have run this program and once we have run this command we can see we have a c file this is legs.yy.c and we have to run this uh, c file using this command zcc space legs.yy.c and now we have it now we we'll, now we have a a dot exe file so we're gonna run a just come over here a dot exe uh, which uh, shows we have successfully written into the file so our lexical analyzer is working so let's go to the directory and see we have a output file as we have told you that we have a output file now this is the output.txt and as you can see in the directory we have output file let's open this output file and you can see that it is identifying include studio.h as predecessor int uh, this is identify function delimiter and special characters integers and the identifiers characters whatever and many many things and as you can see is uh identify relation operators keywords assignment operators it's again identifier and special characters and many more so so many uh, this is the string uh, and this is the single line comments so it's able to identify a single line comments and also a multi-line comments so okay let me show you the input file against this as you can see we have this is the c program and using uh, the lexical analyzer we have built just earlier we can identify almost all the tokens nothing is missing so the job for you is to identify what is missing and you could add more 
more uh, regular expression if you want to like um, let's add uh, we have uh, missed let's copy this file we have missed uh, relational operators so we can sorry we can logical operators so we can add this like this is change it to logical operator and just inside this that's right and and or these are the logical operators we have so XOR so these are the logical operators so let's run this again before we're running again uh, let's uh, put uh, and or somewhere in the program and or XOR and control S so let's just use the care arrow of your keyboard to traverse uh, the earlier comment comments you write so let's just run this again I know you would like okay then a.txt where is it and we're done so go to the directory again you see the new output file and you can see it's identify all the tokens that our C program has or have whatever yeah. come down and it's also identify and our XR as logical operators so I uh, inspire I really want you to add more real expression which will uh, make it perfect uh, lexicon analyzer which could be used professionally and once you uh, and the best thing about this is I will put a I will put the Lex code into uh, a link of the Lex code so you don't have to start from the scratch so you can edit my code uh, make it your own you can modify you can add more regular expression and do whatever you want and I if you really like this video so you should uh, give it a thumbs up and if you can please subscribe to my channel and i will make more helpful videos in future and i uh, hope you have good luck and have a good day bye